New jobs reports came in and Kamala Harris slash Biden are a disaster. I'm John Mike Keen. First, I thought I'd give you some happy thoughts before we get into the doldrums. This is Trump with a positive future message. To bring jobs, factories and wealth racing back to Pennsylvania, we will have a 15 percent made in America corporate tax rate cutting the tax from 21 to 15, and I got it down to 21 from 39. But only for those who make their product in America, made in America. That's the good news. Here's the bad news. All right, let's uh, take a look at CPI. Comes in a little bit hotter than anticipated, up two-tenths of a percent, same as last month. Forecast was for one-tenth. Just to unpack that for you, that's our bad numbers. They were forecasted at one-tenth of a percentage, and they came in at two-tenths of a percentage worse. That's double. So all of the government, what they do is they make predictions and, and give you come out with these false job numbers, and then they have to later correct them down. 15,000 fewer jobs. This is uh, the basically the government's overstated the amount of people in the workforce. And even when you look under this, manufacturing was down 115,000 people. So this is a revision down, a significant revision down, the largest in 15 years. In this case, it's up you know, too much. They were halfway off giving you the bad news. Here's Dorian on Twitter. U.S. jobless claims hit 14-month high, 258,000 new claims versus 227,000 expected. They were off on that. Again, overestimating the good news. Michigan, 10,000 claims in two weeks. Hurricane Helene impact in North Carolina and Florida will demolish jobs. Four-week average is up to 231,000, which are bad numbers. Manufacturing management sectors hit hard. Outstanding claims, 1.86 million claims. The core comes in up three-tenths. That is also a little bit hotter than forecast. Uh, Two-tenths was the belief. Three-tenths was what we saw in August. Everything. These are our futures. The future is bleak under Kamala Harris. But look at Trump. He's got a plan. And they're killing the automobile industry. You're not going to have any cars manufactured here. If we win... This country will become the automobile manufacturing place. We are we will bring plants back at levels that haven't been seen for 50 years in this country. He has a vision. He has a plan. And, you know, and of course, the Democrats are going to poo poo it. But the Democrats have been lying to you about the numbers for four years. The year-over-year numbers, 2.4% for the headline, not as good as anticipated. And for the core, 3.3%, not as good as anticipated. So who set this anticipation? Why was the anticipation so high? Because they believed MSNBC and all the fake news. And Marco Rubio, the senator from Florida, who on Friday was tweeting about the fake jobs report, sowing doubt about the government statistics. They believed uh, all of these fake job numbers and puff pieces to try and get Kamala to win. The truth is she's a disaster. Look at that line. The lines are pointing straight down on all this stuff. Maybe this will catch uh, a little bit of uh, wind, given the fact that we had seen the big, strong jobs report last Friday. Now, jobs, speaking of jobs, we get a big jump in jobless claims, 258,000. Now, that's up from 225 the month before. The jobless claims, all the sunny, bright predictions about the economy under Kamala Harris were a lie. But you've also been leading the charge, demanding answers on why the government has been revising down out of 14 of the last 20 months, the U.S. jobs numbers, that they've been inflated. They look better than they may be. What what are you finding? Well, look, I think this is another example of uh, election interference. In short, they're lying to you. And here on John Mike Keene, we're here to tell you the truth. And here's Trump with a plan. You know, right now, the uh, Chinese are building big factories, auto plants in uh, Mexico. They think they're going to make cars and send them over to our border and put everybody in Detroit out of business, put everybody in South Carolina out of business. Not going to happen because I'll put a 100 or a 200 percent tariff. We don't want their cars. We want to make our cars here. And that includes in Pennsylvania. 
That's Trump winning Pennsylvania. Uh, Florida Senator Marco Rubio described today's jobs report as having fake numbers. What do you make of that? And how worried are you that many Americans are hearing that the jobs numbers aren't real? Look, I'm going to be very careful here. If you notice, anything the mega Republicans don't like, they call fake. Anything. The job numbers are what the job numbers are. They're real. They're sincere. They're what we are. And I'm John Mike Keane.